Hi, Neil here from the Dirt Floor Workshop. Today's video is about the shaper and more specifically a T-slot cutter that I made. Now, when you're cutting a T-slot you've only got two options. You actually have to stay in the groove or you have to come completely out. There's no halfway because if it's halfway you'll get caught on this thing here and you'll break the tool. So on this on this type I, I've made this bracket so that it comes completely out of the groove and I'll show you that action in that Now when you, when you set this up, you've got to give yourself plenty of travel. You've got to give yourself enough room for this to drop back at this end and at the other end, you've got to give yourself enough room for it to drop down there. Now I'll show you this in action. The only other options are keeping it in the groove. The way they do that is they lock the, the clapper box, put a pin through there and lock, lock your clapper box so that it can't move. But the downside of that is the tool wears, you get incredible wear on the tool and you have to sharpen it all the time. Anyway, I might just take that might just take this to pieces and show you how it's made. We've got a piece of plate here, looks like it's about 55 millimetres by 21 by about 16 thick with two holes in it. And this is just a rectangular this is just a rectangular piece of steel it's about 150 millimeters long 35 millimeters by about 20 you probably could make it a bit narrower if your t-slot smaller and this little This is more than halfway, it's about 80 millimetres, it's about 80 millimetres down from there to there. And what I've got is I've cut this. On an angle to give the tool some positive rake. 
And what I've also done is I've cut the tool, I've, made, I've ground the tool tapered so that it wedges itself, it wedges itself into that, when, it, when it's clamped it wedges itself into there. Anyway, it's not a lot to it really. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye.